Hi everyone, it's Joanne here and welcome to my studio and welcome of course to this free tutorial. So on my Patreon channel there are obviously lots and lots of tutorials uh, but this one's rather special because we're going to be painting autumnal uh, pumpkins and it's a lovely subject and my patrons are going to, be, I'm going, to be, going to be showing my patrons how to paint three wonderful pumpkins. I'm also going to be giving them a warm-up as well which I thought I'd share with you guys and it's just a warm-up of one pumpkin and I take you through the process and it's so simple. I break things down for you uh, and then you can produce a lovely watercolour pumpkin of your own. Now if you're interested in my other tutorials you might like to know that I have uh, single purchase tutorials and they can be found on my website. Uh, I also have a Patreon channel which I've just mentioned uh, and that's growing from strength to strength and it's you know we have such a lovely community we have a nice private Facebook group as well where you can show your work or view other people's work if you choose to and of course there are over 55 tutorials on there now I can't believe there are so many and the subject matter is really varied on there as well. Uh, so there's something to suit everybody. And of course, they're all watercolour. Uh, and my single purchase tutorials are watercolour and a brush show. So just check out the links uh, to view those. And of course, if you're watching this and you enjoy my free tutorials, then please, please, please do subscribe. Give me a, a big tick, <laughs> a big likey tick and subscribe. And of course, it's free to subscribe. And then you're not going to miss anything when I do post some content. So, shall we get on with it? Go grab your brushes and let's paint a pumpkin together. Hi and welcome to this pumpkin watercolour warm-up. Uh, so, this is the picture that's exclusive to my patrons and this is the one that we're going to be painting or we have painted. And you can see we've got three lovely pumpkins here and this lovely flow of autumn leaves flowing the way through, giving lots of depth to the picture and of course lots of negative painting as well. And this really is, is a warm up for that one. So if you're interested in that, obviously, then do check out my Patreon channel. So this little warm up. Uh, I've got a piece of Saunders Waterford here and I've drawn up just one pumpkin onto the paper and I've used the 3B pencil to do that. Uh, I don't tape my paper down, I just like to move it around a little bit and it's, it's quite heavy paper so it doesn't really need much uh, taping down or securing in any way. Material wise, I've always got some kitchen roll handy, always, or an old tea towel, big jug of clean water, my spray bottle, I've got a size 10 round brush and the colours I'm going to be using are a cobalt blue, an Indian yellow and an Alizarian crimson. Now you'll notice they're three primary colours aren't they and you can use any three primary colours or you could even come in and just paint it with an orange. <laughs> I do like to mix my colours though so they're the colours that I've chosen to use and I've put them in my palette here. Did I mention my spray bottle? Yes, always got my spray bottle handy as well. So I think the most important thing to think about before we start any painting is where we're going to have the light and where's that going to come from. And in this instance, let's have it coming from this top right hand corner and working its way down. Now that is important, isn't it? Because we need to know which is the light side and which is the dark side. So if the light is coming from this direction here, then these are going to be nice light washes coming into darker washes. So we're confident. Now we know that. Sometimes I put a little arrow in the corner of my picture as well. But now we know that we're confident. So let's come in with a very light wash of the yellow. And also, I'll just move those out of the way. I've always got, uh, it's the back of an old painting actually, a scrap of paper just to test my colours to make sure that I'm quite happy with them. And also I can see what they're going to look like on the paper because this is the same paper that I'm using here. So... I'm going to put those colours in now. <laughs> Did you notice I didn't keep within the lines? <laughs> let's, let's just push that colour around a little bit. A nice sweeping. Lots of water. So we're putting that yellow in and then I'm going to start to come in with an orange. So I'm going to take a little bit of that red and a little bit of the yellow. And I'm going to mix an orange. I like to mix my colours. There we go. I'll just test that. There we go. That is just perfect, isn't it? And I'm going to put that orange into my pumpkin shape. And I don't mind if it breaks the shape at the bottom a little bit, but I'll try and I'll try and keep that. Keep to that shape if I can. 
And there we go. So, lovely yellow wash flowing into the orange wash. What's not to like? <laughs> Obviously, we're painting nice and loose, so uh, I, I could carry on putting little details in here, but I think it's important that we let this dry. And another little tip for you as well. Can you see how the water is pooling at the bottom here? There's a simple solution. Just turn your picture upside down and let that paint flow and go where it wants to. OK, so let's let this dry and we'll build up the values. So mine is nice and dry now. And let's let's think about the stalk of the pumpkin. So just using the three primary colours, I can use the yellow and a little bit of the blue to make a green. That's the perfect green, look at that. Mix that around in my palette. And again, I'm thinking about that direction of light. So I'm going to put in this darker green on this left hand side here and bring it down like so so I'm just leaving that little highlight here and then I can put in the green middle shape and it's got these little kind of like a little starfish isn't it it's got these little starry shapes that are going to kind of come out as they meet the curves of the pumpkin so while I'm waiting for that to dry, let's concentrate on the pumpkin shape again. So I now want to mix a deeper, darker orange. So I'm still using my yellow and I'm going to use my crimson and I'm going to mix a very dark, rich orange colour. Let's have a look at that in comparison. So can you see the yellow, the, oh, let's let that mix in, the yellow into the orange, into this super strong orange. And I'm going to start to place it at the bottom of my pumpkin and work my way around. So nice big brush, just putting those lovely broad strokes in like that. If it's easier, you can turn your picture upside down. There's nothing wrong with doing that. You are in control. I'm going to bring that wash up. I'm going to bring a little bit of it around here as well. So I use the point of my brush here to draw a line and the belly of the brush just to push in the wash. Now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to just take the excess water off that and I'm going to soften. And again, I can turn it upside down. And when I say soften, I'm just softening those edges so they blend nicely into that dry paper like so. Because you don't want a hard edge, we want we want a nice kind of soft edge, don't we? And I also like to kind of drop more water into my washes as well, just to break it up a little bit. And we're painting a pumpkin, so it's kind of nice just to have that little bit of extra texture. Using my brush now just to put in a few little indications of those lovely kind of half circular marks. And already it's beginning to look 3D. I'm going to do something now that seems a bit strange, but I'm going to pull out my orange here. That's where my shadow is going to be. So I'm going to pull that orange all the way around like that. So I'm letting the two washes run together. And as my patrons or people that follow my tutorials will tell you, I like to give mine a cheeky spritz. So I'm using my spray bottle. I'm going to give that a little spritz just to break that paint up and you see it's creating lots, lots of little textured qualities within the wash and now I have to thoroughly let that dry so once your pumpkin is nice and dry we can start to put a few little details in now how about the stalk so let's take our green mixture again so I'm going to put more blue into that now make it a little bit darker you can even drop in a bit of red to make it more kind of olivey. It's really worth experimenting with three different primers to see what you can get. So I'm going to use the point of my brush and I'm just going to put in a darker tone just along that edge. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm just going to soften that down a little bit so we've got a nice 
light edge and a dark edge. I can use that dark again and just pop in just these little kind of starfishy shapes along the edge here. There we go. Nice and simple. That's what we like. So I'm not going to wait for this to dry because I want us to put in the shadow area here and some little details into our pumpkin. But how on earth do we show that this is the lighter area? Let's go back. I'm just going to hold this one. Let's go back to that one and, and look what I did here where I introduced lots of leaf shapes and dark values that just kind of show off that lighter area. But for this little warm up, we're just going to put some value in there just to show you how we can kind of create that lovely crisp edge against a light. So I'm going to turn my picture this way. And you can use whatever colour you like. I mean, you could come in and you could put oranges in there, look. In fact, I'm going to make that quite dark. Really nice dark orange colour. Or you could come in and put in some ooh, greens. There's nothing stopping you doing that. So just taking a bit of the green and letting that flow into that wash. Now we are working very much wet into wet. Pulling that out, I'm just going to soften that with my brush, just pull that shape out. So nothing too complicated at this stage, I'm just putting in a value, I like to tap as well. <laughs> and I'm going to just introduce a little bit over here as well, just into this corner. Maybe just a touch of the green. Just soften that away. Lots and lots of water. That's what it's all about. There we go. And I like to spray into my wash as well. So I'm going to give that a little spritz there just to, just to break the wash up a little bit. So... Let's think about some, some details within our pumpkin. Now, I need to mix a darker orange to be able to create the kind of grooves in the pumpkin and also a shadow as well. So we can do that while it's still wet. So let's take our red again and our yellow and mix quite a strong orange colour. And remembering where the light's coming from, so I'm going to just put in some... I'm going to add a bit more yellow to that. Just some linear marks for now. Just bringing them round. And I can use the belly of the brush to push those marks up. So it's a linear mark and then belly of the brush. Linear mark, belly of the brush. Clean my brush now and I'm just softening those marks away, letting it again, letting it blend into that dry wash underneath. We don't want any hard edges. We're working wet into wet. I'm just going to put a few little lines just here, maybe here. And already you can see that it's starting to get a little bit more shape and form into that now, isn't it? Now, while that's still wet, shall we be brave? I'm just going to lift this bit of water away. We're going to be brave now. It's still wet. We're going to take our blue, our blue wash here. There it is. And can you see how that blue has exploded into that orange? That's, that's exactly what we want here, really. So... I'm going to turn my picture this way, and I don't mind if some of this wash actually goes up into that shape. The orange is underneath. I'm going to pull the blue out. I'm going to clean my brush and put lots of water onto my brush and pull that out, softening it away. So it's following the curve of the pumpkin. 
and I do like the way that the wash has kind of run into that as well. That's really nice, isn't it? So it's connecting the two. It's connecting the pumpkin to the actual surface that it's sitting on. I'm going to give mine a spritz now because I want a bit more texture into that shape. So just a quick little spritz and we'll let it dry and we'll evaluate if anything needs doing we'll know in this next stage so as you can see mine is nice and dry now and you can't really see from where you are so i'm going to hold that up again but look at all that lovely texture that we've got just by spraying with a water bottle it is about being brave though isn't it being brave enough to do that and, and trying to control it as well and that takes practice so no when to stop that's the question isn't it now i feel i need just a few more little darks with mine so i'm going to take some darker green the cobalt blue <coughs> and the lemon yellow and i'm going to just put in a little bit more dark into that stem area here bring it down here and I'm also going to put in some more little darks into those little crevices here. And a clean brush. And just soften that down. Lots of water. <coughs> All right, okay, let's come underneath here now. So I'm taking my ultramarine blue, oh sorry, cobalt blue, <laughs> ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, but you could use ultramarine blue, that's not a problem. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a definite mark underneath. So for instance, here, or I can see my pencil drawing just underneath that, just very lightly. There we go. Cleaning my brush and just pulling that out. So what it's doing is, can you see, it's it's kind of giving me a definite edge. And there we go. I think I should stop. So have a go at that. Have a go at the spraying thing as well. That's, that's a really fun thing to do. And uh, I do use that in a lot of all my tutorials. And I go into a lot of depth as well on how and when to do that in my tutorials. And of course, most of my tutorials are nice and loose. So if you enjoyed that, then yeah, check out the rest of my watercolor tutorials because I'm sure you're going to love them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>